Hello everybody, long time no see. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing well. Just wanted to hop on here and do a little introduction uh, because right now I know I have a bunch of backlog. I have a lot of vlogs that I want to edit and publish, but I am still putting the latest footage forward. So last month I went back to Belgium to see my family just for a short week and I filmed a few clips and for some reason that's the one i want to put out now it's the most appropriate one and i need more time to work on the other ones that means that things are not going to be in chronological order so yeah i just want to give you a heads up so went to belgium last month in november of 2023 and that is what you're about to see now and the other heads up that i wanted to give you guys is that at that time november 2023 was definitely one of the worst months ever the toughest months one of the most challenging times i haven't really gone into what's been going on i've talked about a few things on patreon and if you follow me across every single one of my social media platforms you may have been able to put two and two together but when i went to belgium it, things were still fresh so in those videos if i don't look great if i don't look energetic and motivated and peppy that might be the reason why oh, mixed with jet lag um and also i think i'm gonna release the belgian videos in shorter segments it's just easier to edit things little by little than publish them rather than just putting one 40 minute vlog out and being like is anyone gonna actually watch a 40 minute thing i don't know anyway i'm trying this out enough said i am doing better now thankfully i still look a little rough but i am doing better now so hopefully things are gonna start getting back on track fingers crossed that i didn't just jinx it anyway hope you enjoy these little snippets from belgium and hopefully hopefully i can go back and edit those japan vlogs that go back to july of 2023 oh my goodness i need to get on that anyway i hope that you guys are doing well i hope that the holidays are treating you well if not big hugs you are in my thoughts we are in the same boat a similar boat take care i'm always sending you much love and see you very soon It's 5.45 a.m. and I'm gonna head to Haneda Airport to catch my flight back to Belgium for a week. to my gate. I sweated so much. So I'm gonna go try and find a bathroom. Fresh up. I'm kind of hungry. Yeah, so maybe a vending machine snack. It's so busy. This is my first time in Haneda airport and it's it's crazy busy. I've never had to queue like up to an hour for security check. And like my backpack is kind of heavy, it has my laptop. All the staff seem like pretty stressed, like no smiles, nothing. So curious experience for Japan, Haneda Airport. started boarding but I'm like in the last ones so I'm walking around a little bit because I know I'm gonna be sitting for the next like 11 to 14 hours so just gonna walk around a little bit in this almost empty area but <laughs> I don't know why I have one sock that just keeps sliding inside my boot I don't you know what I mean if you've experienced it it's like one of the more annoying things ever just checking that they're still boarding. Got loads of time. So I'm gonna have to find a seat and put pull my sock back out again. Going back to my gate now. I don't know what I was saying, but I got distracted and then it cut out. I think there's still a few groups before me, so I guess I'll keep walking. <laughs>
let's just pretend I'm on a phone call. Except if someone comes from behind me, and then clearly it's not a phone call, but I've arrived in Munich. I look rough, I feel rough. It's been 14 hours and I'm not home yet. I have like a four or five hour um, layover here. It's pretty empty. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. Anyway, finding this gate, well, of course, it was easy to find, it was indicated, but it, <laughs> I had to take like a train to get to this gate. That's like, maybe I'm just like a small country girl. Belgium is very small, but I have never had to take a, an actual train to get from one gate to the other. So that was quite interesting. I found like this weird ass machine where it seems like you have everything in there. Don't know how it works, but you just like put things in your shopping cart and then it arrives, basically. I thought I got some water, but it's sparkling, which is fine, but I might get the hiccups. And then I found this. I thought it was going to be a little bigger. It's just like one biscuit for like two euro, which is a theft. <laughs> but yeah, it is what it is. I have like a long ass layover. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. This is not my gate. Did I say that already? <laughs> I just want to be... Oh, well, maybe I'll go to the restroom after I've had a snack and try and refresh because I feel gross. <sighs> yeah, airplanes, not fun for tall people. Now that guy is looking at me, I don't like it. Yeah, let's hide behind the pillar again. <laughs> Welcome to my bed and breakfast. This is it. And there's a bathroom, which you might have seen earlier if I inserted that weird clip of me half, as half awake, half asleep, starting the day. Um, shoot, what did I want to say first? Yeah, first of all, why am I in this corner? Is because I have to charge my phone uh, before I leave, and I'm supposed to leave. Um, I still, I still look pretty rough. This pimple is not coming out. So it means it's gonna stay as this little beauty for a while until it evaporates back into my skin or something. And um, another thing, I wanted to wash my hair today, but there's no shampoo in the B&B. They said there would be shampoo in the B&B, but there's no shampoo in the B&B. So I've had to go buy some like travel size shampoo and conditioner so I can wash the airplane off my hair. It's not greasy, but it doesn't feel clean. I slept like four hours. <laughs> Which is why my brain is not functioning right now But jet lag woke me up um, I think I went to sleep like before 1am Which is not too bad, con all things considering But then I woke up like one time at 4am, then 5am, then 6am And I was like, okay, you know what? Uh, it was almost 7am, I'm just gonna get up I had some breakfast thanks to my mom She dropped me off at the B&B Which is quite close to where she lives So now I'm gonna walk to her place, maybe 30 minutes walk and meet up with her and then we're gonna just do some things i guess just hang out maybe meet with my aunt because they were gonna hang out so i'm just gonna invite myself <laughs> um geez i'm all over the place yes my mom dropped me off <laughs> she got me from the airport uh really late thank you mom then she dropped me off here and then that's where i was getting to she left some breakfast things with me which thank goodness I should sort of sort of get going the show <laughs> Welcome to Belgium where it's very green compared to Tokyo and also very cold <laughs> It's like 6 degrees and I'm here just wearing my big ass sweater because I didn't bring a coat because I have a bunch of coats at my mom's house so I was just thinking I'm gonna take these also there's a lack of um of sidewalks and this is a very um well cars come here very fast so that's fun oh i should cross actually there's a sidewalk over there let me just wait for this car to pass okay let's cross 
I gotta remember to look the right way. Like in Japan, look right and left. Here, look left and right. Okay, I've got a 30 minute walk and I'm a dumbass because I left the charger at the BB. So I'm going to my mom's house and I could charge my phone. I don't think anyone has an iPhone there, so. <sighs> dumbass. <laughs> so this part, this today might be a little empty. Might be. I'm gonna try and save battery. So, yeah, enjoy the green. Smells green, smells like nature, smells like forests. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> Oh, I should actually text my mom that I'm on my way. Okay, well, see you in the next clip. Look who I found. Yellow. Yellow. Kukulu. Kukulu. Kukuvali. Kukuvali. This is the baby. She's a little naughty girl. Cute but naughty. This is a sweet girl. Oh my god, it was. Coco Lou.